Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. Um, this video is gonna be a little bit different. As you guys know, I try to be as honest as possible with you. And uh, every year I try to do a profit or loss video on bottle calves, how much I made um, or lost, and go through all the expenses and what I sold the calves for. So um, that's what this video is going to be about today. Um, it's probably not gonna be short-winded. There's not gonna be a whole lot of exciting stuff going on. Um, I'm just going to show you guys my expenses, and I'm also going to show you my sale receipts from the sale barn. We're gonna go through all that today and I will let you guys know if I made some money on bottle calves this year or if I lost some. So you guys may remember from a few videos back, um, I sold my group of 40 calves in two separate groups. I sold most of the steers the first round and then I sold most of the heifers and a couple steers the second round. So first we're going to go over um, how much they brought. We're gonna look at my sale receipt here um, for the first group. So this first group, you can see my name is at the bottom. This is my sale ticket. And uh, let me see here. And the reason I have things blotted out, I'm not trying to uh, show who bought the calves um, or even which sale barn I took it to. So I'm not trying to badmouth the sale barn or give them credit for anything. I'm just, just showing you what they brought. I sold them on January 11th, 2021. Let's see here. First seven were mixed steers, average weight 436 pounds, total price $1.70. That was clearly my best group there. Those were my mostly black steers. Um, there were a couple with a black and white face, but for the most part, they're my all solid black steers. And as you can see, they only weighed 436 pounds. So they weren't super heavy, but they brought $1.70. So in total, they brought quite a bit per calf. Um, Let's see, this next one here, I am super confused about. I do not know what went wrong here. Um, and I don't know if I got ripped off or if something happened to the calf on the haul and I was not informed about it, I don't know. But um, the second calf, they singled him out, weighed 425, which as you can see is similar to the rest of them. So he wouldn't have been cut out by weight. Um, let's see, brought 85 cents. I've seen Holsteins and jerseys at this weight bring more than that. So I don't know what went wrong, but that calf only brought $361. Uh, if all my calves brought that, I would have lost a ton of money this year. So uh, don't know what went wrong. I don't know why they singled him out and I don't know why he brought so little. Um, I did have a couple that had a few white spots on them, but once again, the other ones sold fine. So I don't know what went wrong there. Um, don't know if it got ripped off. Don't know if it was someone in the sale barn that worked there wanted them, I don't know, but I'm not too happy about that one. Um, let's see. Next ones, we had group of four. These were the colorful ones. Um, they had some, they looked more dairy than the rest. Uh, average weight, 429. Total weight there, and they brought $1.07. Uh, once again, not too impressive, but a whole lot better than 85 cents. Uh, so at 430 pounds, even if they're half dairy, I was hoping to get $1.20, you can see there. Those are also half dairy, they just didn't look as much dairy. Brought $1.70, same weight, these brought $1.07. So I was hoping to get $1.20 out of these. Once again, not sure what went wrong, but um, not great there, but I still came out okay in the end on those. Then the last two, those were tiny ones. They weighed 348 pounds, same deal there. Those were actually the really colorful ones. Um, you could tell they were, they almost looked full dairy, but um, either way, uh, they brought $1.5, $729 total there. So in total, out of 14 head, after my expenses there from the sale barn, total weight, 5,885 pounds. My gross pay, this will focus, $8,111. Um, after my charges, this will focus. After my charges, $7,824.98. That is for the first 14 head. Now we're gonna take a look at my second receipt there. You can see my name at the bottom. Um, let's see here. These were sold for 12, 21. Not too long ago. This is my group of mostly heifers. Um, but they did sell the first six steers and these were solid black steers. There was one red white face steer and one black white face steer. Average weight, I had held on to these a little bit longer, so they did get bigger. These were the tiny ones that I kept back. 
Um, when I sold the other group, I'm guessing these weighed 300 pounds. So um, they did grow quite a bit. And uh, let's see, weight here, price $1.47. Can't complain a whole lot better than, the, than some of the steers on the last group. Sorry I got distracted. The cat is in the shop and she just crawled on me. So we're gonna try to set her down. Next were some big black heifers. Uh, there were seven of them total. You can see average weight 604. Total weight there, $1.22 for heifers. I am not complaining about this whatsoever. Um, great price, I'm happy with that. Uh, let's see. Next, had one singled out, the black steer. I don't know why, I'm guessing because he weighed a little less. And uh, you can see he weighed $4.60, $1.42. Once again, not terrible, much better than the last, some of the last groups. And he brought 653 bucks. And last but not least, some smaller black heifers. Uh, there's five of them, and uh, average weight 485. Total weight there, and they brought a dollar 40 for heifers. Once again, super happy with that total price there. I am not complaining. There you can see my expenses. I did not have a hauling charge on the last group because um, my dad was selling, and they just combined mine onto the trailer, uh, so they didn't charge me for hauling there. It was 140 for my dad as well, so um, it wouldn't matter if I put them on there or not. He would have been charged the same. Um, so they didn't charge me for that on the last one. This one, another $140 charge. Um, total charge, $536. You can see, you can see my total there, gross, $13,426. After charges, $12,890.39. Okay, so sale receipts here. Um, you guys saw the numbers, you saw how much they brought. And uh, as you guys know, I had 40 total. I started off with 43 bottle calves. I lost three total um, through the process of a year, which once again isn't great. I was hoping for one instead of three, but that's how it is. Um, so I started with 43, ended with 40 to sell. And uh, I kept back seven. I kept two of the Jersey looking steers back. We're gonna raise those up and uh, end up eating those. One will be for my personal family, the other will go to someone else who wants the beef. So uh, then I kept, let's see, five other heifers and those are either ones that looked really good and had more beef in them um, or I just thought they really looked like dairy. And there was also one that was missing an eye and I knew she wouldn't bring much to the sale barn. So I'm gonna keep those as cows, those five. Um, I would have rather have sold them and just taken my money, but um, it is what it is. I knew they would probably bring 300 bucks to the sale barn and I'd rather keep them as cows than give them away for that much. So anyway, now let's go over some expenses. So I've tried to total up all of these and I put them on my phone here, so that's what I'm looking at. And I will also put them on the side of the screen here so you guys can see. Cat just jumped in my lap. Okay, so let's get started here with expenses. Um, First, just for the calves themselves, most of them cost me around $150, um, give or take 25 bucks. Um, so on average, uh, 150. After I added all 43 in, total was $6,450 that I spent on the baby calves themselves. Um, milk replacer, on average, it cost me about $70 per bag. Um, one 50 pound bag feeds one calf, gets it to weaning. So in total there, $3,015 in milk replacer. Um, hay, just a little, I bought some alfalfa, some big square bales. Um, total that cost me $280. And I also included um, a few round bales because I did feed them through the winter a little bit. So um, that's my total hay cost, $280. Then straw, I bought three round bales, I think at 35 a piece. That I could not find my receipt for since I bought them in cash. Um, they were either 30 or 35, either way, about 90 bucks in straw. Vaccines and shots, it was $82 um, for both rounds of vaccine. I just put it 160 to make it even. 160 bucks total in vaccines and shots. And then next we have the grain that I fed them as baby calves. That'd be the sweet feed, that's a little more expensive. In total, um, bought around 40 some bags, and my total receipt there was $387 in the sweet feed for babies. Um, then my grain, after, after they were weaned, um, I spent a total of $4,180. That was one 18 ton load of feed. If you guys remember the first group of bottle calves I raised on YouTube, they were Holsteins. 
I grained them heavy. Um, I probably spent this amount on grain and there was half the amount there. So um, these I did not grain very heavy. They were barely getting grain. Um, my previous group, I did grain them more heavy, but grain prices did go up. So it ended up being about the same price. Then I also paid $900. I paid my dad 900 bucks to rent 40 acres, 50 bucks an acre. So total expenses, after adding up all of those numbers, total expenses, $15,462. So now we can add up my two sale totals. Um, my first ticket was for 7,824, and then gonna add the second ticket, which was 12,890. That gives me my total of $20,714. Then subtract my expenses. My expenses were 15,462. So total profit after expenses, $5,252. So total profit was $5,252, but like I said, I also kept seven back. So um, average price for those that I sold, after you average it all out, they averaged $627 a piece. So for the seven I didn't sell, if I would have sold them um, and they brought $627 a piece, that would have been another $4,393 in profit that I could have added to the $5,252. So let's just say I did sell them um, to get my, what would have been my total profit if I sold all 40. Total profit there would have been $9,645. Then I know last year when I made this video, a lot of people said, oh, you gotta calculate how much it was, how many hours you worked and subtract out your labor. Um, once again, farming, pretty much you would hardly make money if you ever did that. So, but this time I did calculate how many hours I spent doing this and kind of calculated how many, how much dollars per hour that equaled. So um, in total, I have down here that I worked 315 hours to raise these guys. Um, for the most part, it was around two hours a day for three or four months when I was bottle feeding them. And after that, it was 15 minutes to 30 minutes a day to feed them grain once a day. So after they're weaned, there's not a whole lot that goes into it. Sure, we have to work them two other times, run through the chute, that takes three, four hours. Um, but after that, there's not a whole lot, a lot of hours involved. So if you take my total profit of $9,645 divided by the 315 hours, that equals $30 per hour. Um, if I was just working, that would equal $30 per hour. So if you want to subtract how much I would like to get paid in labor, I would probably put 15 to 20 bucks an hour in labor if I was going to subtract that out. But um, that is not something I'm going to worry about. So, was this year of raising bottle calves profitable? Yes. Was it as profitable as last year? No. I also kept back 18 heifers last year and I pretty much still profited $9,000. So, um, this year was not nearly as good. My calves didn't grow as well because I wasn't graining them as hard. Uh, my last group I sold at 700 some pounds um, and they brought a dollar 12 or something average. I can't remember, I'd have to look at the video. But was it as good as last year? No. Was it still worth it? Yes, I would say. Um, for any young person that's trying to get involved in farming and you have 40 acres to work with, 40 bottle calves is a great way to get started, uh, cheap way to get started, um, great way to make nine or $10,000 in a year. But for me, I'm graduated college now, bottle calves is great during college, I was living at home trying to save money, and since I was home pretty much every day, I could raise bottle calves. Um, I had class, same, same time every day, um, so my schedule didn't change, but as you guys know, um, I am now working full-time. I have a different job um, I'm still trying to farm when I'm home, but my current job is not there's no set schedule. I kind of make my schedule um, And I'm gone part of that time. So that's why I'd said a couple videos back and I'm raise I'm not gonna raise bottle calves this year um, and that's because my schedule fluctuates so much um, and bottle calves you have to have a routine you need to feed them same time every day and that was just not possible. That's why I'm not raising bottle calves again this year. Sure, if I didn't have a full-time job and I could make a full-time living doing this and raising a couple hundred calves, I would. That's just not gonna happen right now. But what I encourage any young person who has never owned a calf before to get started with bottle calves, sure. So raise a couple one year if you really enjoy it. Maybe do 10, 15, 20 next year um, and grow up from there. But yeah, great way to get a kid started. Um, and maybe you're a high school right now, you're home every day anyway, you don't have a summer job planned. Bottle calves may be, a, may be the way to go to make some extra money as well. But the reason I'm not doing it again this year, um, I have a little over 20 some head of beef cows and after calculating 
how much I made selling their calves this year. I made a whole lot more off the beef cows, the 20 beef cows than I did the 40 bottle calves. And there's a whole lot less work involved with the beef cows. So they took roughly the same amount of land. So there wasn't a whole lot of difference there. It was just beef cows are more profitable if you can afford the initial investment. So that's what I'm moving towards, moving towards mostly beef cows. I'm sure we might have an orphan here and there that I need to raise on the bottle. But for the most part, I'm going to beef cows. Once again, sheep are still in the works. I'm trying to get that up and going. I'm gonna try that out this year. I think sheep are gonna be a little more profitable per acre. Um, obviously not per animal, but a little more profitable per acre. And we're gonna see how all that goes. But guys, with that being said, hope you enjoyed this profit or loss video on bottle calves. Um, this will be the last one I do. I may do one on my beef cows next year. Um, after I sell all the rest of those calves and uh, show you guys how much I made off beef cows and um, if that's something you're interested in getting into um, you have a similar production model it might help you out so I say uh, like I said I'm trying to be as honest as I can on this channel I have been doing this for three or four years now and I've been trying not to hide anything um, I'm pretty much showing every aspect of the farm that I can and without YouTube getting angry at me so and I'm not afraid to share with you guys if I lost money. Uh, so far, I've been blessed I haven't since I've been making videos, but I know before I made videos, I was not always profitable. And uh, some years, just bad years, so. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.